All right, all right, all right. We are back here at Song of the Day, coming to you from the Rock Cave. As usual, I'm your host, Mark Pierce. How are you doing today? <sighs> it is Thursday, right? This week is moving along at a decent pace, is it not? What did you guys think of Oakerville River yesterday? I, th- I like that song, huh? I think we already went over that but we got some people who liked it some who thought it was just all right but i love my wednesdays love throwing stuff out there so i hope you enjoyed it got a chance to at least listen to something new as you said mike bray <laughs> they have been around for 20 some odd years but they're new ish to us right uh what else is going on everyone been following this uh tiktok story about the guy who did the skateboarding with the song dreams from fleetwood max I read about that and I thought, well, this must be like one of the best TikToks ever. So I went on there and saw the TikTok and I was like, wait, that was it? It was just that? And then I showed it to my daughter and she said, oh yeah, that's funny. And I was like, it is funny? Anyway, <laughs> so you never know what's going to go viral, right? You just, you never can tell. And then Mick Fleetwood put his response on there and then, well, he got a new truck. He became famous. And then the Queen showed up. Stevie Nicks joined TikTok just to post her response. That was pretty good. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Although I did want her to actually get up on those roller skates. So what are we talking about today? Today we are talking, it is October 15th, right? And yesterday, since I don't do uh, anniversaries much on Wednesdays, yesterday was the 35th anniversary of this record. It is their fifth album. We're talking about the band In Excess, and they put out their breakthrough record, Listen Like Thieves. So, we've done In Excess once before. We'll do them again soon, which I alluded to already. So, just to review, In Excess, a band out of Australia, right? Yes. They're not from America. They're not from Florida. They're not from anywhere in America. They are from Australia. Uh, Did you remember that there were three brothers in the band? Tim, John, and Andrew Ferris? Just so you know, three brothers and Michael Hutchins. Uh, Just a quick review of them. They were formed in 1977 or or so, say 78. They were called Dr. Dolphin and they were approached by Midnight Oil's manager to uh, manage them, which he did, and managed to actually get them to tour with Midnight Oil. And they became huge in Australia. Absolutely, they were a pub band, uh, but they they became really, really big. They put out the record The Swing in 1984, which is its own great record by its own right. That's when I heard In Excess... um, other than the one thing which was on mtv uh that was my first love for in excess was the one thing but when the swing came out that's when i felt like i was really listening to a band just was just cutting edge um that had original sin uh melting in the sun i send a message burn for you and a great track called johnson's airplane did you know that niles rogers produced original sin that song so that made them huge in australia but they did not that album wasn't huge like really huge in the united states and they were starting to wonder if they were ever going to make it big in the united states so they start recording this new record and they have it mostly done and the producer's like you guys need a hit on this record this is a great record but you're missing one hit i'll give you 48 hours to come up with a hit uh so they went back to work and they looked listened to some of their demos and they listened to uh, some of the tracks they had and they, they turned turned this song around in two days and that was What You Need, the song. Uh, and that's the single that was released that put them in the stratosphere in the United States. Uh, it went to number 11 in the United States as an album. It went to number one in Australia, of course. Um, and that is what just catapulted them into stardom status and prepared themselves for their next record, which would just even push them even further, right? They changed their name to NXS, uh, I think, in 
like 80 or something like that or 81 or 79 but anyway uh what's on this record you guys remember listening to this record i remember this is one of the first cds that i ever bought let's see i graduated from high school in 86 and i got a cd player for graduation which was a big deal because there were not very many cd players around and my mother gave me pink floyd's the wall talking head stop making sense and eagles greatest hits volume two with it I think that this song, this CD was one of the first ones that, because there weren't very many CDs out there, if you guys remember, they were in the long boxes, but there weren't a ton of choices, and I remember this one being one of my very early first CDs, and being very happy with it, but this record has the song, lead off song, What You Need, obviously huge hit, Listen Like Thieves, awesome song, Kiss the Dirt, underplayed, great song, Shine Like It Does, also a good song, Good, good and Bad Times, wasn't that in a soundtrack? Was that on a, let's see, is that right? Was that in Lost Boys? I can't remember. I should have checked that first. I can't remember. Uh, Biting Bullets. This time, that's a great breakup song. Uh, Three Sisters, Same Direction, One Times One in Red, Red Sun. Uh, you don't hear this time enough on the radio ever, right? You just never really hear this time on anywhere. That's a great song, right? Uh, hard for me to pick uh, a song of the day. I, it would be easy again to go with what you need that would be the clear choice but you're going to hear that on the radio a lot and when i when i went back to this record i was like man there's some, there's some great songs on this record that you just don't hear uh, and it deserves its own like to go for people to go back and listen to it so uh i was i was gonna do this time but i'm actually listen like thieves is the song that recently i just thought of out of nowhere and i started playing it again and that song that's a great song and you don't hear it enough so listen like thieves is your song of the day 35 years ago this week released awesome record awesome band i miss this band i miss michael hutchins uh, a lot um who doesn't love in excess i mean come on great band all right we're at seven minutes we're gonna cut it now that's your song of the day tell me your in excess songs but don't tell them all because we're going to revisit them again on Saturday with their next record, their eighth, their uh, sixth record. And you guys know what that is, right? We'll talk about that on Saturday. All right. Enjoy your day. It's Thursday. It's time for me to run. Nice seeing y'all. Have a great one. As usual, I'll catch you on the flip side.